Hey guys, it's the Chad, and today I want to talk to you guys about the fresh air kick panel vents from a 1967 to 72 Chevy or GMC truck. Now, these old air vents, they worked awesome, especially if you had a non-AC cab. But one of the bigger problems that GM had with this era truck were these fresh air buckets would get full of debris and leaves, and then the kick panel, well, it'd begin to rust from the outside in. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to remove the vent, then do some maintenance to slow down that rust, and then reinstall them. So let's take a look at this 67 to see how this all would work. Now, I do have the hood decal shield off right now so you can see better, but as we're driving down the road, all this air would be forced into the cow to the driver's side or the passenger side fresh air buckets. Then from the inside of the cab, we'd go through and just pull the vents open and we'd receive all that outside fresh air. Now this was a huge benefit, especially if you had a non-AC truck. But the downfall to this was GM really didn't have a good way to stop all this debris, leaf sticks, mud from ending up in the cow, and then it would transfer over by wind or water and be forced into the fresh air buckets. Now they did put some drain holes down here, but those were easily clogged with all of that debris. So when they got clogged, then the rust would begin from the inside and then transfer to the kick panels. So we do have to ensure that we are doing routine maintenance on these to ensure that these buckets are cleaned out at all times. So looking at the vent from the inside to open it, you just pull the handle at you. To close it, you push it forward. Now to remove the vent itself, you just need a 5 16th socket. And even sometimes these would be Phillips head screws, but we'll just take them both out. So now I've got the handle disconnected from the kick panel. There is gonna be a stationary pin and a spring-loaded pin at the top. So we're gonna to need to reach in behind the door and pull down on the spring-loaded pin. Once you get it pulled down, you just pop it out. So now the vent's out. You can see there's a little dimple right here where that stationary pin rides. And there's gonna be a hole up here at the top where the spring-loaded pin goes. So now it's pretty easy to see the problem area. This air bucket just gets full of all this debris, leaves and mud, and it begins to rust this kick panel all the way down. So now that the vent's out, let's take a closer look at it. And it's pretty basic. You just have your open and closing rod and a metal oval with a rubber gasket going around it. Now on the back side, we have the stationary pin and the spring loaded pin that allows it to come out of the actual kick panel. Now, if you're going to be buying any of these from Craigslist, Marketplace, or Swap Meets, make sure you're buying the right one because they are driver passenger side specific. Now, this is the passenger side, and I can tell that because the opening and closing rod comes through the bottom and points up. Whereas the driver side, the rod comes from the top and it points down. Now, this vent, it's still pretty good, but the gasket's getting worn out, so I have a couple options. I can choose to go to LMC Truck, Classic Parts, wherever you guys like to buy your stuff from, and buy a new gasket or a whole new door assembly if I want. But I've seen a lot of guys go through and make their own gaskets. They'll just run to the hardware store and buy some rubber, and what they do is they'll go out and drill out these rivets here because there's two pieces, a front panel and a back panel and it's got this rubber or this gasket compressed between it. So once they get the new rubber cut out, then they can go through and put screws in here, bolts, or go through and rivet it back together. Now this may be a good way to save a lot of money. Now earlier I told you that the driver side and passenger side kick panel vents are different, but there's also gonna be a difference between an AC cab and a heater truck. Now if we take a look at the passenger side kick panel on an AC truck, you'll notice that we're missing the open and close handle for the vent. But what we do have is this AC vacuum actuator. Now this actuator will open and close the door automatically depending if the air conditioner is calling for fresh air or it's in recirculate mode. Now another difference that an AC truck would have would be up on the front firewall and cowl area. You'll notice with this AC cab, we have another actuator here. And what this actuator does is open and closes another flap Again, that depends if their conditioner is calling for fresh air or it's in recirculate mode. 
So I know some fellas just never use these kick panel vents and that's okay, but every once in a while you do need to remove them. Stick your hand in here and try to get this big debris out. These air buckets are way bigger than you think and can hold a lot of trash. Now once I get all the big material out with my hand, I'll follow up with an air compressor to blow out the fine material. In the last step, I'll stick a garden hose up in the top cowl. That way water can run down into the air bucket. And if there is any mud or dirt down here, I can unclog the drains that way. So once the air bucket's all clean and dry, I like to come in with some rust reformer or rust converter and treat what surface rust is already there. Then you can come back and top coat it with paint. But one thing I wouldn't do is use any type of undercoating because you don't want to plug up the drain holes with that thick material. So when it comes time to reinstall the door again, we're just going to do everything in the reverse order. The bottom stationary pin will go into the bottom groove and then we'll pull down on the spring loaded top pin and pop it in the hole. And then you'll go back and put your bolts back in. Now one thing I've seen guys do is they'll come under here at the bottom of the air buckets and drill one or two more holes here. That way if the big drain hole gets plugged with leaves or debris, at least water can drain out the bottom. So one item I'd highly encourage all you guys to buy would be the cowl opening shield or screens. Now these work great because it keeps the big material such as leaves and sticks out, but lets water and fine materials pass through. And that's okay because once your air buckets are cleaned out, all that small stuff should be able to go right out the drain holes. Now I know these can be a little bit pricey and if you can't afford it, no big deal. Just run to a local hardware store, pick you up some window screen or some tight woven metal mesh, mount it down here and put your hood to cow shield back on and you're good to go. I just think it's great insurance to keep the front of your firewall and the side of your air buckets from rusting out. So now I've got this old girl put back together and hopefully you guys picked up a couple tips today. If you guys know of other ways to keep these old kick panels from being completely rusted out, type it down in the old clickety clack and while you're there, hit the like button and subscribe. That really makes a difference. And if you guys would like to see any other videos from this old 67 before I send her on down the road, let me know. I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching.